Hello Taurus, uh, this is Sue and I'm doing story time. Uh, this is for the second week of February. This is story time for Taurus, second week of February. What's the story for Taurus? Oops, oh, well there's one way to start. Got the nine of wands. You, you, you're starting your week at the end of your rope. What's going on, Taurus? Okay, let's see. How many more do we need to go? Okay. One more. Okay, so Taurus, you have been fighting so hard just trying to keep things together and uh, standing your ground and not letting anybody uh, screw up what you've already done. Yet, someone came in from your past, someone that you remembered even from childhood even, or maybe even from another time. But you didn't feel the need to be defensive. You, you didn't feel like you had to take the high ground and... Um, defend yourself because this was someone that you knew. This is someone that uh, was on the same page as you. Yet somehow you were reduced to bullying to get your way. And now you stand waiting for your ship to come in. And maybe it was actions of the past when the truth came forward to say a message of truth coming in. What is this? What is this? It's not a message of truth coming in. It's not a new beginning. It's not what you thought. But you're all right. You're going to be okay. You're financially secure. But when you thought you were headed out of uh, rough times, you, uh, you weren't. You weren't headed for smoother waters. But you've got a new beginning on the horizon. But it's not with an air sign. That would only lead to a tragic ending. Um, stabbed in the back. Uh, that would not allow you to take your power back. Uh, that would not give you what you needed. <laughs> but at least I think you have the foresight now not to imagine problems. Uh, you've become more of a realist and you're letting all these worries of the past just drop away. Uh, you don't feel like you're at a crossroads anymore. You've chosen your direction even though you sort of picked a direction without looking, like throwing a dart at a map. But it was good news anyway, even though not totally the victory you had imagined and not the soulmate energy. It looks like you missed out on that opportunity because you were acting indifferent when they made the offer to you. You act as if it didn't really matter to you, but in reality it did. You, you were sneaking away, not telling your truth. You were taking time out and uh, not facing everything you needed to face. You were playing a waiting game. But you have the power to have this energetic new life, new beginning, where people do recognize you for the work that you do. And so, and so it doesn't matter if somebody walked away from you in the night. That was just releasing those burdens. You no longer have to carry that weight. You no longer have to work that hard. 
now you can celebrate. Now you have the financial independence, the Ten of Pentacles in the end. That all sounds like good news, but it seems like all the readings are very similar this week in story time. So, so we got gotta ask Doreen Virtue to step in and give us some kind of uh, love advice. Release your ex. Kind of felt that way to me too. Uh, time has come to clear your energy. Uh, that sounds like good advice. Release that burden. Uh, don't put up with that guy who who's, uh, snuck away in the night, didn't show you the appreciation for the work that you do, and made you just wait and wait. <laughs> uh, that's it for you this week. And so, Taurus, uh, 